recognize uh, Ms. Hanabusa. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary West, when you made the statement you don't know what counterinsurgency or counterterrorism mean, uh, you made me feel really good because I have the same problem. So to the two generals, I'd like to ask you, what, when we say that we are changing the military strategy from counterterrorism, uh, from counterinsurgency, what exactly does that mean to you, or you can explain it to me, and maybe to Secretary West, and in addition to that, can you tell me what that's going to look like for our, basically our strength, our end strength, or what the forces are going to look like, and also what the composition may be, so that as we see the drawdown in Afghanistan and this new military strategy that's being employed now, what, what is it that we need to understand as to what the needs may be or the reduction would result? So, any one of you. And I'm, I don't mean to be insulting to you. <laughs> I'm very interested, too. You know, I, this, th these choice of words have been an unfortunate <laughs> from the very beginning that people started to use them. And, and they started to use them as different strategies in particular. And that, I, I think that's where they become quite, they're just not useful. To be frank about it, I, I think to, to maybe understand the difference as we are applying these these terms. Counterinsurgency, the emphasis is on protecting the people as job one. And certainly there's an enemy out there that we have to deal with. But the, the principle involved is the protection of the people. In counterterrorism, the focus is exclusively on the enemy. And the way we apply it, it is mostly focused on individuals. High, what we call high value targets and less on organizations and it, and we are able to execute those targets based on very specific intelligence uh, that we receive actually to conduct a successful campaign against the insurgents in a Iraq or in Afghanistan you would have to do both of these to, to be successful I, I cannot for the life of me, see how we could just conduct operations against high-value targets and believe that we, we could be successful and, and ignore the rest of the problem. But I think the terms are, are not particularly useful in trying to understand what we're doing. General Barno, do you have anything to add? I guess the only thing I would add is that, uh, and I'll talk about maybe about future forces since you asked about that too, but I, but I, I viewed when I, when I structured a counterinsurgency strategy when I was there, the first one that we had really applied there, I, I had the counterterrorism element of that as one of the pillars of the strategy, that focusing on the enemy was one of the, one of the aspects of a broader counterinsurgency strategy within which you had a governance pillar, within which you had a build Afghan security forces pillar, within, it, within which you had a regional pillar, and you looked at protecting the population and, and having an integrated overall effort. Uh, but, but you always have to have both. I mean, I, again, I agree, you can't have a counterinsurgency that doesn't have you know, striking the enemy is part of it, but the broader context has to do with protecting the population from the enemy and separating the population from the enemy. To, to your question on the future, very briefly, I think that uh, ultimately where this will take us is that we're going to see the counterinsurgency element of what we're doing, the po population protection countering the Taliban element, become more and more Afghan-centric. I think we're going to continue our own counterterrorist forces striking at both the Taliban leadership and the Al-Qaeda leadership for a long time. And that may be our, our end game there, may be mostly, if not exclusively, CT forces, special ops forces, with the Afghan army with some advisors. And I think that's where our strategy ultimately takes us at the end of 2014. And, and just so that I'm clear, uh, General King, when you said that it's to protect the people, the counterinsurgency, uh, I guess, strategy, is that the Afghan people or is that our people in uniform? No, that, that's certainly the Afghan people is, is center stage. That. And, it, it, and that's a shorthand way of explaining a more complicated strategy. So given that you're both retired, and I hope I can get some candid answers, so why would we in Congress who latch on to these nice little terms of art, so to speak, are, you know, we've been told that 
that there's a change. We were going from the counterinsurgency strategy to the counterterrorism strategy, and some of us have used it because of testimony that we receive. So can you tell me why then, if, if it's really sort of both two sides of the same coin almost, or, or yin and yang, you know, both necessary, why is it that we're being told that the military strategy has now changed its focus, if you know? I don't think that the military strategy has changed its focus in Afghanistan. I think there, there's been a debate over the last two years uh, whether the, the military should simply abandon counterinsurgency, remove the bulk of the troops, and then only have special operations forces doing counterterrorism against Al Qaeda, maybe even doing it from offshore, not in Afghanistan. I think like the, the, the well. Hopefully not like Libya in some ways, but the, the outcome of that debate was no, that's not adequately going to protect U.S. security interests, and we had to have boots on the ground, and we had to be able to prosecute both components of this campaign. So I think, again, ultimately post-2014, we may have a counter-terrorist strategy focused on al-Qaeda, but between now and then, we're looking at having both of these very much interconnected to each other. So quickly, will we then, of course, then see the reduction in force? The end strength will, of course, naturally reduce because of that nature and that change? Yeah, absolutely. And that, that's the game plan right now is that we move from a you know, large number of American boots on the ground we have today to a much smaller number by the end of 2014 that will ultimately simply be focused on counterterrorism and al-Qaeda with the Afghans taking on all the ownership with some American support of the counterinsurgency effort against the Taliban. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My challenge has expired. I yield back.